God brought Christy and Aaron into our lives in a very unique way, and we've been friends ever since. Let's check in with them and see how doing the right thing can be hard sometimes. Aaron, it is so good to get to be a part of Camp Joy this year. Yeah. What? Mom, look at this. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. But look what she said about me. I never said that. Why would she? I'm about to give her a piece of my mind. No, 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 wait, wait. Wait just a minute. Weren't we just studying Mark 16, 15 during devotions the other day? Do you remember what that scripture says? Uh, yeah, it's the, the Great Commission where Jesus says to his disciples to go out into all the world and preach the gospel, right? To all the creatures. It is, yeah, that's right. Right, but what does that have to do with this? Well, do you know if this girl's saved or not? Mm, I don't think she is. Well, does she know if, that you're a Christian? Yes, she does. In fact, I think she did this just to make me and other Christians look bad. Well, we sure don't want to help her do that, do we? So one thing that we have to remember most is the most important thing is her soul, her salvation. You may be the only example she will ever see of grace and forgiveness in the love of Jesus Christ. I never thought of that. I'll tell you what. Why don't you come with me? I want to show you something. So, you know, we were talking about your situation and how, you know, you've been wronged by your friend and um, you're pretty upset about it. I understand that. Um, but I wanted to show you something, sort of what happens when um, we get upset and then just kind of kind of just launch out our feelings and not really um, think or pray and give things to God. These things are, we're going we're gonna to call the bottle of pop your situation, right? That pop has some fizz in it, right? It's not fizz. It is kind of a fizzy pop. There's a little something going on in there. You don't see it. It's not really. But this is what, this is going to represent, these little things will represent anger and frustration and lack of self-control maybe, maybe even revenge or vengeance, you know? And this, these things are going to be that. When we add these to that situation, we're going to see something happen. And this is kind of indicative or it's kind of symbolic of what might happen if you take this into your own hands and don't really give it to God and pray about it first, okay? okay. So if you will take these and just lift that lid and pop as many in there as you can, just quick as you can. Woo! <laughs> you only got two or three in there? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. See if you can get some more down there. Nope, that's it. All right, that does it. The Bible says in Proverbs 15, 1, that a soft answer turns away wrath, but harsh words stir up anger. And that's what's happened here. You can see that. Anger and vengeance only make the situation worse. They really, truly do. Now, I wanted you to go over, and I don't know what you guys think, but do you think she can put it all back in? Erin, go try to put all that back in. Wait, put the pot back? That, like, yeah. Can you, do you think you can do that? That's impossible. Well, that is also another result of taking things into your own hands and not relying on God to handle your hard situations. Oftentimes when things get out of control, we say things or do things that we really can't take, but take back. Now, you may not be friends with your, this girl Ivy, that, that's her name, Ivy, that's your friend. You may not be friends with her, but, um, you know, one of these days, you may, your example to her might uh, make her want to learn more about Jesus. And that's really what our, our job on this earth is. Yeah, you're right. Well, what do you think about just praying about this? Is that okay? You want to yeah. pray? All right. Yeah, Will you all good. join us? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all you do for us. We thank you for your holy word that shows us your ways. We're thankful for your Holy Spirit that guides us, and we thank you for your son, Jesus, who died for us. We give you this situation that Aaron's going through. We know that your ways are the best, and we know that we can trust you to help us deal with our problems. Please help this girl, Ivy, to feel your love and to receive your grace. Please help Aaron through this hard time, and we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We hope this helped you all see how important it is to pray and give God your problems.
We hope that if there comes a time that you face a difficult situation like this, that it'll help you to remember that this, this will help you to remember that it's best to turn to God and pray and let him guide you in these things. Don't let your emotions destroy a possibility of helping someone find Jesus.